Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from JJ's Custom and Auto Repair. Uh, thought I'd do a quick video for you guys, um, to show you an update on this and uh, give you a helpful, tent, a helpful tip on getting these hood pins set up and aligned and stuff. Um, I know I get asked a lot of times, um, what's the best way to get and mark your hood pins for your hood so you're not cutting, you know, two, three, four holes or hollering out the holes you've got. Um, so I'm going to share with you guys a quick tech tip that uh, one of the guys down at the dealership I work at shared with me when he had to put a uh, aero package on a Corvette. Either way, uh, what I always like to do, it's pretty easy, cheap, most of you guys have silicone laying around already. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind, RTV, silicone, the red, blue, black, uh, whatever color. This is gray. Um, I really wish I had some red, but a little bit easier. The brighter color, the better. Uh, biggest thing is you just want to make sure it doesn't match the car. Uh, you know, do you no good to get some black if the underside of your hood's black. Um, either way, as you guys can see, I don't have anything marked right here right now. It's just some dirt right there um, in here either. Luckily, on these, I've got those X's, but what I found out is the actual hood pins themselves, the X's don't match up. So, before I went ahead and cut and drilled, I figured I would give this technique a shot. Uh, one, to be able to show you guys, and two, help me make sure I don't put multiple holes in this customer's car. You may not be happy with me. So, what I always like to do is just take a little bit of the silicone and just dab it on top. Doesn't take much. Ugh. Just enough. To make a definite mark and you want to get on the very tip too you guys you don't want to get it around here and make a big mess and stuff uh, you definitely want to get it on the actual tip um, that'll be good so let's take this ghetto hood prop out here Just with me. all right sorry about the filming uh, let's see here all right so I'm gonna just let the hood down Mine's not bolted in. If yours is already bolted in and you're just going to hood props, uh, so your standard latch, then you probably wouldn't have this issue, but you just want to make sure it all lines up. Uh, let the hood down. Just kind of push on every side. You don't want to push too hard. You don't want to warp your hood or anything. You just want to make sure they do have definite contact, and that's pretty solid. There's no wobble in the hood. Oh, grab my hood prop back here. Just pick it up. It'll actually still hold the hood. All right, and as you see, almost all of it's off there, but if you look here, you can see just barely a little dot right there. It's a lot easier to see in the light time, not on the camera. And then right here, see, it doesn't line up quite perfect. Um, there's multiple ways you could get to do this. Um, you can either wipe that off and just remember the spot, um, you know, and just mark it with a marker. Um, you could let that dry and do it that way. You could do it while it's still wet if you really wanted to. I wouldn't suggest it because you're going to get silicone all on your drill bit. Uh, be kind of a nightmare. Um, but that I figured that'd be a quick tip to help you guys not, you know, drill a bunch of holes in your hood. Uh, I guess I'll just give you an update on this car. It's a '84 Toyota Celica that we're putting a 350 in with a uh, 200R4 transmission. Um, Edelbrock intake, uh, stock water pump, chrome or uh, Mr. Gasket pulleys, um, radiator. I'm not sure who built it because it was already in the car. We just scooted it forward to make it fit. Um, had to delete the inner headlights. We still got the outers. Um, kind of a custom pulley set. The lower pulley is, or the lower bracket for the alternator is all Mr. Gasket stuff. Um, but we had this tensioner laying around that was used in an earlier project that we just went in through on it. Um, not sure on the carb. The customer supplied that 650. I know that much. Um, I think he said it was a double pumper. Never ran the numbers or really looked into it to see. Um, it's got a street fire ignition system on it. Um, custom headers. I had a custom make the oil pan. Um, that's about it. Uh, it's loud. You still got to get the exhaust done. Still got to get the throttle linkage actually finished up. And then the only thing left was the hood pins and the brakes, and uh, hopefully drive it. I'm supposed to be delivering it to the customer this Saturday. Um, had this thing for quite a while, so i uh, be glad to get out of my shop so I can start messing with my 280Z back there and get a new cage welded on my dune buggy. Uh, not too happy with how short it is. I always have to poke my head out. But either way, guys, I uh, thought I'd give you an update and uh, show you guys how to mark your hood pins. A simple, easy way without having to you know, try to get crazy accurate with it or uh, anything nuts. 
Either way, keep up, guys. I'll give you an update uh, with this car. Try to before I deliver it off and see the happy customer's face. Peace.